Hi everybody, welcome back. Right, for all you square lovers. A very simple diamond shape into a square. It's a granny square. It's the, the most easiest, I guess, to do, um, but it's a very simple pattern. Now, I've got a couple of other tutorials if you like diamond shapes. I do like diamond shapes within squares. Um, I've got a bit more sort of an intricate one. Uh, you may have to sort of just check my other tutorials and see where that is. Um, if you like granny squares and you're looking for something different, this would look absolutely adorable in different colours. So it's DK yarn, lightweight yarn. Where we've used change of colour, there's a little bit of a... Just one drag here now you work both loops so you can't really see yeah okay so DK yarn lightweight yarn number three and I'm using a three point five did I use 3.5? Sorry, do bear with me. I think I did. Right. If it's a bit smaller, then I know that this was a four. But you can use three and a half or four on a lightweight yarn. There's no issue about that whatsoever. You can use any yarn and any hook for this. You can go for chunky. You can go for number four yarn. Um, you can make them all in one colour. Or you can make them in... Um, different different shades for the centerpiece sorry which will look just as amazing and i'll show you that now with the cream so i've got the same color here but i've got a little bit of cream which i'll be using for the centerpiece hopefully it's enough it better be i'm just trying to think now <laughs> i tried to pull some aside but should i risk it yeah no i think it's fine right um this is a great one for beginners i will it is double crochet and I will go as slow as I can. I do say that every tutorial. People say, oh, but you say you're going slow, but you're still not going slow. Um, I have to keep everybody interested in the video. Please do slow me back in the playback options if you have any issues. I'm not sure whether some people are aware um, that you can do that. Just bear with me. I've got myself into a little knot with this cream. Just bear with me. I'll get another bit of cream. Two seconds slide off my chair right okay that's better right let's begin so you can either do chain four and work into here or you can do a magic circle i'll show you chain four this time hold this is how you do your magic circle i also have videos for double crochets and a magic circle if that's what you want to do um you can go ahead and practice those so you will need the double crochet for this but i will do chain four so do your slip knot how you do your slip knot i've used this cream like i said for the center and chain four actually no chain five sorry do apologize and then slip stitch into that first chain to make a loop chain three you'll start off as a normal granny square so go into that loop there and do a double crochet that's one i'll show you how to do the double crochet if you're not sure yarn over go in pull up a loop yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two chain two go into the ring again for three double crochets one two and three chain two again we've done two sets of three double crochets that first chain three counts as a double crochet we need four in total so this is the next set of three double crochets chain two Now, just before I begin, you can give this a bit of a tug. 
chain two on your last one and slip stitch on top of that chain three there and that's round one you want to slip stitch into the next double crochet one into the next one two and then into into the actual space three chain three and do three two double crochets chain two and three double crochets one two and three that's your corner okay three double crochets chain two and three double crochets but this is chain three and two double crochets initially when you start off don't chain anything in between go to this next corner and do three double crochets one two and three chain two and three double crochets go straight over and do the next corner which is three double crochets chain two and three double crochets <clears throat> last corner up here three double crochets one two and three chain two and three double crochets okay find your chain three go to the third chain at the top and do a slip stitch that's what we have so far we want to move into this corner so slip stitch along it's one two and when you get to the third one just leave that one for now grab your color that you're going to use for the outer you can attach it however you want to attach it I just grab it for now put that through there and then put it through there just leave a bit of a tail so you can tie okay oops bear with me so chain three and you want to just hold the center color in your at the front there just for now so two double crochets chain two and two double crochets sorry three double crochets for your corner make sure everything's nice tight right I've done two go for your third and then hold it there you can leave that to the back or the front grab your center color and pull that through okay now this is where we're taking this one along but you will not see it because we are going to put that into the next row so just take that along and just for this side bit here three double crochets and three don't complete it leave that to the front and grab your other color but make sure you take this one with you bring up the biscuit color again and then go straight into the corner for three double crochets chain two and three double crochets don't complete the last one keep it there okay 
going to swap your colours. And pull up your cream. We're taking this one with us for one, one little... Make sure you don't pull your work as well. Don't complete on your third double crochet. Bring that to the front. Grab your other colour for the corner. Pull that through. Remember to take this with you. Three double crochets, two and three, chain two and three double crochets. Oops, we don't want to complete that last one. Pull the cream through, in my case it's cream. Take this colour with you and then go into the centre, into that next space, sorry, and do three double crochets. Don't complete and go back to this colour. <clears throat> Pull that through. Take that with you for the last corner and do your three double crochets. chain two and three double crochets don't complete and for the very last time oh do apologize pull the cream through Now, that's that so far, but what we want to do now is we're going to get rid of this because we don't need to, um, not this one, sorry, <laughs> this one. Um, so what we'll do is we've done two double crochets, we haven't completed that. Go back to this one for now, okay, just so that it hides it better. And then when you slip stitch into the top of the third chain, do it with the cream. See how I did that? So you do it the one. You can you can cut your center color off now. We can weave that in after. It saves getting in the way. So you, you won't have very many yarns, but I'll show you how to hide these now as we go along. So this is what we've got so far. So go into the corner. Sorry, wrong one. into the corner and do your three double crochets this is our last round so chain three two double crochets chain two three double crochets now can you see this here that's what we're going to pick up so we're working in that space, but we're also taking that with us here. So grab the whole thing, go under the whole thing and do three double crochets. So you can zhuzh it around. Move to the next one and we've got the, you can either leave the cream one if you want to. You've got two options, either you take the strands, both of them, and work them into the next section, or like for in this case, it's just cream sitting on top of cream, and you don't want to drag it. 
you can leave it like this. One, two and three. Okay. The choice is yours. Three double crochets, chain two and three double crochets. Next section. Now you don't want to leave the, this colour sitting on top because it's opposite to that. So then grab it and do three double crochets. This one is sitting on top, but just to show you, you can grab the whole thing. If you're grabbing the alternate colour, that's what I mean by here on the side. So I prefer not to. I prefer to just leave it where it is. Because you don't want to see cream going up the side. <coughs> Excuse me. Corner, three double crochets. Chain two and three double crochets. This is the one that you do want to take up with you. So go underneath it and three double crochets. This one, leave alone. Three double crochets. And you're back to the corner. Three double crochet, chain two and three double crochet. Last one to pick up here, this one, <clears throat> excuse me, I never really get cold but this has <clears throat> been a nightmare this one, last space, three double crochets and just slip stitch on top of the chain three. And here you have okay so now let me just tell you <laughs> I wasn't sure if I made that in a four or a three and a half but obviously it's a four the tutorials in a three and a half but it just look these things happen right at least you can you can see the size difference that's a four 3.5 millimeter and that's a four millimeter so that's how you make these diamond squares of course, you'd um, chain one and cut your yarn. You won't need to do anything with this one. You can just snip that because we did a chain five. If we'd done a magic circle, then obviously you weave in. And uh, I won't take any more time to show you how to weave in. Should maybe you should hopefully know that by now. Just remember, it's just up and down one, two, three times. Okay. Stick the cream with the cream and the beige with the beige. And that's how you make these gorgeous little squares. Right, guys, hope you like this tutorial. Diamond squares. You can make a whole bunch of these. They look absolutely gorgeous in different colours as well. You can imagine this on a throw. Thanks for subscribing, thanks for watching, thanks for your support and please do um, subscribe, uh, like and share and I'll see you very soon.